When you look back at what I've done over the past 18, 21 years, you get the impression there are many painters. It's not the same painter. Some would not have reacted in the same way. I told myself, listen, you've been searching for long enough. Now it's time to decide. La démarche du peintre, a painter's approach is similar to that of a poet. Travel impressions, the beauty of landscapes, the emotions of meeting people. Privileged moments become the center of the work of art. But is it really a memory? Nerval, Gérard de Nerval, speaks of a half-dreamt memory. Real life and memories converge and are transformed by the dream. The memory preserves precise and coloured images. At the same time, it makes them abstract, simplifies and complicates them using instant impressions. It deletes intimate emotions experienced in moments of crisis when they are foremost to keep only the pacified memory. to guarantee ever-present happiness. Memory becomes timeless. Personal experience and the whole of humanity become one and prefigure a mystic future. Indeed, from a clear and precise transcription of the visualized image, the artist creates a personal vision that he tries to communicate. Thus, the image takes on a double aspect and becomes a sign. Every woman turns me down, Rene. Every, whether it's tubes, anything, they turn me down. What can I say? <laughs> New York. New York. Chicago. The fascination for the new world a never-ending source of inspiration, the constant need to convey forms and emotions. To travel, to leave one's watchtower, guided by the desire to discover the world, timeless, perpetual encounters, the staple diet of all humanity. He travels to paint. His travels are a source of inspiration, the landscape, the architecture, colors, and so on. And we can see them on the canvas because they are the reflection of his travels. The sketchbooks that I'll show you are just tiny sketches with lots of nuts. Take, for example, a sunset. A sunset you're there by the water with a magnificent sun. It's very easy to do a sunset because often there are lines. You have to add poetry that comes to mind immediately. Because if you take a photo, okay, you find it 30 years later, you say, well, yes, 
that's a sunset. But if you find the drawing 30 years on, with notes that you've written, you can experience once again what you felt. He spoke earlier about his travels. He always brings back a lot from his travel. That's why I said about the blue, that there's always the technical graduation of the color he has created, which opens the horizon for him and leads elsewhere. And for Jean, this elsewhere is very important. He brings back a great deal from his travels, from his impression. But he can't always bring back sketches. There are some things you can't paint. They are just too beautiful to be painted. S'exposer, prendre le risque de partager. Communicating, taking the risk of sharing emotions, displaying them to enable others to rewrite their own story. Jean Moiras, c'est quelqu'un d'assez. Jean Moiras is a secretive and extremely sensitive person. He's not easy to comprehend. It's when you really get to know him that you finally understand who he is. He always keeps, or he wants to keep, a certain distance. But in his paintings, he expresses himself. So he says who he is. He throws in colors and matter to try to define or to give what he doesn't express otherwise. Yes, Jean's painting is always good quality. There's no question. His vision of art is more or less the same as my grandfather's. So obviously, there's an evolution. But with Jean, his painting is timeless, both in the colors and in the composition of his paintings. Increasingly, there's a demand to expose his work elsewhere than in the gallery. Being in charge of an artist's life and work is extremely challenging. Tokyo. Tokyo. Opening up to other cultures to better pass them on to us. Venice. Venice. Unavoidable, irreplaceable Venice. About Venice, I could do a whole exhibition on Venice now, without even going back there.
Luxembourg, Luxembourg. Gibraltar of the north in the Roman era, but also green art of the new Europe. Amitié, friendship, trust, two companions, without which nothing would have been possible. I absolutely love heart, but I'm in no way a connoisseur, and I can feel just as much emotion looking at a painting as I can listening to music. He unveiled to us his native region, the Auvergne, that he loves deeply. In all of Jean's painting, He leaves a trace of life. A village here or there, fields of corn, golden harvest, blue lavender, a flowery pasture, all that is a trace of life. And Jean manages delicately to create a sort of metaphor of life and of mankind that he puts there, between ground and sky. We became friends and Jean became my daughter's godfather. My wife and I obviously both had a deep attachment to them. Ten years of complicity. These are years that fly by. When life is trouble-free, you're not aware of the passing of time. I used one of his paintings, with his permission, to illustrate one of my albums. Because of the strength, the tension, the strongly contrasting colors, and it's a sort of an unusual strengths that I rarely find in art nowadays. And when I say ground and sky, it's not only earth and blue sky. I mean more in the biblical sense of the term. He's a genuine friend for me in any case. I feel that you can ask Jean anything, and I'm sure he'll be supportive. Have you a message to pass on something to say to John? Mm, quite simply, I love you, John. You're great. La démarche du a painter's approach is similar to that of a poet. Travel impressions. The beauty of landscapes, the emotions of meeting people, privileged moments become the center of the work of art. But is it really a memory? This radiant vision is sometimes obtained thanks to the woman loved, eternal woman, mystery of successive incarnations or reincarnations. The landscapes, the architectures, female figures become the keys to a surreal and mystic world and transport us insensibly to the edge of holy dwellings, to meet with Dante's Beatrix, who smiles at the wandering poet. Paul, 1988. 